hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go hey it's the empire geobasing empire back from boxing my god man i mean things get better and better every day people are getting exposed left and right now man <laughs> my boy uh british superstar fighter wba wbo ibf unified champion my boy anthony joshua my god he goes off on my boy tyson fury now we all know about the situation with deontay Wilder and tyson fury and the whole third fight going on and the whole idea that tyson fury and anthony joshua are gonna fight the fight was announced yada 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 you know what anthony joshua says he calls bs on all of that now i'm gonna get some quotes from my boy aj <laughs> my boy aj he says at tyson fury the world now sees you for the fraud you are you've let boxing down you lied to the fans and let them on use my name for a clout not a fight bring me any championship fighter who can handle their business correctly damn my boy aj went in on tyson fury now it was always wild to me how Tyson Fury announced the fight with Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury when no one else uh, on the other side announced it as well. I was, I've always found it really odd that Anthony Joshua didn't announce a fight with Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury announced it by himself and Anthony Joshua said nothing. He's basically saying that, hey man, this guy's using my name for clout. I was there, I don't know what he's talking about. What fight? Use my name? For what? I mean, what, what fight? What are you talking about? Anthony Joshua's at a loss. He doesn't know what's happening. And he called one boy Tyson Fury a fraud. He says, he now, he says, and I quote, the world now sees you for the fraud you are. Quote, unquote, ah, you lied to the fans and let them on. Use my name for clout, not a fight. Dang, he basically said, you just throwing my name out there, man. You wasn't really going to fight me. Get scared. You're a bum. My boy AJ, man. He, I knew he was a real one. You know, everyone calls my boy AJ. They say he's so PC. He's so uh, uh, conscious of how people feel. You know what I mean? He's always like, hey, man, did I say anything that hurt your feelings? AJ, man, no. Nah. Nah, not really. You heard AJ, man. He went all in on Tyson Fury. He called him a fraud. Said the fight was never going to happen. Say, hey, man, stop throwing my name out there. You're a bum. No one knows who you are. And if people did, now you're fried. You exposed. This is the British superstar fighter. You know, there's always this idea that Tyson Fury has the nation behind him in the UK. The whole nation behind him. And that's far from the truth. The truth is, there's a power struggle between Anthony Joshua, Anthony the King Joshua versus Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. There's a power struggle there. There's a power dynamic. And if you look back in their career, it's clear to see who's the better fighter. It's clear, it's clear as day. It's Anthony Joshua, baby. Look at his, look at his title defenses. Alexander Povetkin, Andy Ruiz, uh, Dominic Brazil, right? Carlos Takum. I mean, the list goes on and on. These are title defenses, baby. How many title defenses have Tyson Fury had? Zero. Zippity zoop. How many times have Tyson Fury fought outside the UK besides America? Once, once, what he did once, he, he, he fought over here, you know, once, I, I guess, I guess he fought over there in, in Germany. Okay, okay, we'll give him that. But did he defend his titles? Can he fight back home? He can never come back home because his license revoked, revo was revoked because he tested for PEDS. This is the kind of disdain that Anthony Joshua has for Tyson Fury. He's, he's a bad, uh, he's a bad head figure for the sport of boxing the guy is, is everywhere he's schizophrenic in, in what he says he says one thing and the news says something else the next day like he announced the fight with Deontay I mean with him and, Ty, and Anthony Joshua and the fight never happened I mean this guy would say anything for attention and this is what I mean where people a lot there's a lot of boxing pundits out there like Eddie Hearn like uh I mean basically all, a lot of people in boxing they do this they throw a lot of names out there just to not fight anyone at the end of the day or or not get the fans what they want a lot of people are really upset 
with Tyson Fury right now. Um, they're trying to put the blame on Bob Arum, but Anthony Joshua is not having any of that, man. He's putting the blame where it belongs and that's on Tyson Fury because he's one of the few fighters who announced the fight. And, you know, promoters, their job is to put their uh, fighter's name out there. So I expect that from a promoter. But when fighters themselves saying there's a done deal and he's just, you know, making stuff up because the fight isn't a done deal and Anthony Joshua just proved it, well, we have to look introspective. We have to look in the inside. So there you go, man. My boy, AJ, man. You know, it's wild too, man. I'm going to link it in the description. But Anthony Joshua basically said he's going to move it to plan uh, B and C. He said that, yeah, the, it's a possibility that I could fight Tyson Fury. But, you know, we're going to move on to bigger and better things. And that, that's what Eddie Hearn said, actually. So, yeah, man. I mean, the whole chapter of uh, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, man. Anthony Joshua, man, the unified superstar British fighter, he's moving on to bigger and better things, right? A lot of people think he's going to fight Alexander Usyk. I think that's a big fight. You know, he's going to have to defend his many, many world titles he has because the guy is so accomplished, so accomplished. You know, he has to keep his sponsors up. You know what I mean? He has to take some model picks. You know, he has to do many things. Anthony Joshua, you know, he's, so, he's such a superstar. Such a superstar. And, and Tyson Fury, I mean... Let's be honest. I mean, could you could you really see him modeling jeans or something like that, walking down a runway? No, man. He he don't got the look, man. He he don't have he don't got the physique. The guy's a fat slob, out of shape, and it's gonna catch up to him, man. You can only be out of shape so many times. You know, when you look back in boxing history, there's a lot of times there's fighters who get to a certain level where they're so dominant they don't they don't really train, right? Roy Jones did it at one point. Adrian Boner did it at one point. There's a lot of extremely athletic fighters. Even uh, Sugar Ray Leonard did it, right? He did it at one point. I mean, there's times where he was out of shape, right? Look back at his career. Then it catches up to you. It always does, baby. Do are we gonna see a Roy Jones Jr. fight where Roy Jones slowed down, got stopped? Can it happen to Anthony Josh? Can it happen to Tyson Fury? Possibly, baby. Possibly. The power struggles continues in the UK, man. And uh, will we ever see a, a fight between the two of the fighters? We'll see, baby. We'll see. But as it looks, Anthony Joshua has no kind words to say to Tyson Fury. No kind words at all. Anyway, man, let me know you guys feel about AJ's comments, man. Like, comment, subscribe. It's the Empire. Geo Boxing Empire. Peace.